plant, kick. Wow. Right foot, great. Last one, come on in. Right foot, good. really good. What's up guys, back with another episode of Road to 4.5. Today we have a little practice session as well as another lesson with Scott from Gravity Tennis. Before we get into that, let's talk a little bit about the future of the channel and what you can expect coming forward. First off, we're still gonna get a Sunday set every Sunday, so continue to expect those. We will also do two episodes of Road to 4.5 every month, so expect those every other week. We've also got a new series coming out this Friday called Chumps vs. Champs, where I will play someone who's very accomplished in tennis, and we will try to find some way to make it interesting, so get ready for that. Expect one of those a month. I also hope to continue to make the creative videos like the not leaving this tennis court till I make a thousand backhands or um, ace me win a hundred dollars. So expect one to two of those type of creative videos a month. Lastly, I just joined a UTR flex leave. So if my opponents let me film it, I um, expect to see some of those as well. So I'll be playing someone around my level one or two times a month on this channel. So let me know what y'all think about that schedule. Do y'all want more of something else? This will probably take all of my bandwidth, but really excited. So if you enjoy the content, please subscribe. Let's get right into that practice session. All right, guys, so let's kick things off with my hitting session with my good friend, Matt. He is a former state champion. I'm in Texas 6A doubles, probably around a 5-0 right now. Um, very good at tennis and really fun to play with because he um, is always just giving me tips. He'll stop the hitting session if I'm doing something to show me a few things, give me a few pointers, so it's always a blast. But I um, started off just hitting and then he showed me this volley game where we each hit a volley and then step in each time and just try to keep hitting it back. Played this for about 20 minutes and really helped me get a better feel for the volleys. You can see he knows what he's doing. Then we played this game to work on my backhand returns. I would serve it to him and hit a backhand. If I got it cross court, I got a point. If I just returned it, it was a wash. And then if he won the point, it was his point. We started at five, I was going to 10. He was trying to get to zero. We all know the backhand is still a struggle for me, so getting to work on this was super helpful. Also started to mix in some serve and volleys here at some point. It's always a treat to get to practice like this. Um, I don't get to practice that often. I'll take my lesson, get to play two matches a week and probably get out there on the machine once a week and that's about it. Um, Matt lives in Dallas and each time we hit, I feel like I get a lot better. So, always a treat. After that, we played a quick 10 point tie break. Matt, not necessarily trying to beat me, just trying to give me some different looks, served at different angles, hit to my backhand, make me come to the net, give me some overheads. He's got a really solid serve, so serve returns are pretty difficult for me when I play better players because I just don't do it that often, and so I don't see a lot of good serves. So I'm not good at returning good serves. Hopefully I will get better in the future. Overall, happy with the way I played today. Feel like I'm getting better. Ended up staying in a lot of these points. Just watching the footage back is also super helpful. Just for strategy, I see different places where I could have attacked him differently. Anyways, excited to keep getting better. Had a lot of fun out here. Hope you enjoy the rest of this tie break. And then we'll get right into my third lesson with Scott. All right, what's up guys? We're back with another lesson, Road to 4.5, episode three. Scott, what do we have in store today? 
What do you want to work on? Uh, approach shots, for sure. Okay, sounds great. Cool. Right, let's jump in. Let's warm up a little bit. Sorry. Right. Going into the net. A couple of tweaks I want to make to the backhand. I want to look at the volley a little bit more, and then I think that'll prepare us to go into the approach shot. Cool. We'll probably get a few overhead work. All right, so on the backhand side, okay. so your right hand was drifting towards an eastern grip. Okay. And as we talked about in the last lesson, we want to try to more of a continental grip on this side. That's going to create a deeper flex in the wrist like this, okay. but I think it's going to make it easier to hit the ball cleanly. Okay. Good. What I want to do for a little bit, I just feel like we could get more spin on that side. Go ahead and take your right hand off completely. Yep. Find that ball in front. Really feel that racket dipping below the ball. Good. That's it. Good. What we're going to do now is we're going to add three fingers to the racket. Have you ever done this before? Mm -mm. Try it. Three fingers to the racket. So you're pinching with your right hand. Left hand is still in charge. Good. That's it. Go ahead and take a few steps back. Keep doing it. We're really emphasizing the sense of spin here. Yeah. Higher over the net, more spin. Good. 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 Stick it all the way back. Add, add the fifth finger. Keep the racket, keep the right hand really loose. Keep focusing on spin. Good. Nice shot. Good. Oh boy. All right. Good. Last one. Good. All right. Last couple. So there's still a little part of you that likes to use your wrist a little too much. And I think that's what's getting you. It's good. That looks good. That looks good. Okay, what are you feeling that's different? Because those, those three looked much better. I'm just like locking my wrist out. Okay, great. <laughs> All right, I like what I'm seeing a lot. Yeah. So I'm seeing a little bit too much action in the wrist again. Okay. So you're chopping a little too much. Better. Better. Good. So the thing you want to keep in mind about the approach shot, what you what you do with your positioning from the shot is as important as the shot itself. So you, namely, you want to be moving forward behind your shot. You don't want to lose too much speed. Okay. So for instance, let's say I have a low approach shot here and I hit the ball, right? That was a good shot, yeah. but I lost all my momentum. And now I have to re-begin my momentum forward. Yeah. That leaves a lot of space for them to pass. If we have that low ball, we want to be doing a shuffle hop, right? Or we want to be doing a step through. So we're coming in, hitting the shot, stepping through, and then shuffling this way. Okay. We'll try a little bit of both. Starting with the front foot hop, you want to start with a little bit of rhythm. So you're going to shuffle step into your stroke. If we're preparing for the stroke, we shuffle, and then we're going to kick the back foot and hop off the front foot with our follow through. Okay. This is for a low approach shot on the forehand side. Beautiful. It's really nice. Yeah. Personally, I love the way this stroke feels. It's one of my favorite strokes. Last one. So that's going to be a lot more of a Federer-esque kind of approach. Okay. What Rafa tends to do is when he hits his shot, he steps through and follows it up with a shuffle step. So let's try that one. We're going to step through and then shuffle. Okay. Step in, step through, and then shuffle, and then exactly. Good. Step through. Good. All right, looks pretty good. Let's do one more with a front foot hop. As a side note, the front foot hop really works well in an inside out shot too. Okay. So go ahead and back up a few steps behind you. Beautiful, yeah. That's like one of Federer's signature shots is the inside out front foot hop. Now let's talk about higher balls. So you try to step in on a higher ball, it's gonna feel awkward. So what we wanna do instead is a move called the dip drive. The right foot is gonna plant around the moment of the bounce. The elbow is gonna be a bit higher, and we're gonna be making a path from elbow to hip. 
So if I'm hitting a lower ball, I'm gonna be brushing up the back like this. Yeah. But on a dip drive, we're gonna actually be hitting across the back of the ball like this. So there's gonna be a little bit of side spin in addition to a little bit of top spin. So I'm gonna plant with a bounce and I'm gonna be going shoulder to hip. So I'm raising my shoulder up to the height of the ball, planting with a bounce, and then kicking forward off the right foot. If you're gonna plant, that elbow is gonna be up, and now imagine you're slapping me in the face with the strings and pulling to the hip, exactly, so like that. Up, plant, pretty good. Feet, plant, kick. Wow. Quick feet, plant, hit. Not bad. You can step in with just your right foot. You don't have to necessarily land on both. Okay. So instead, just focus on stepping forward that right foot and then transferring. Come on in, right foot, plant. Great. Right foot, great. Last one. Come on in, right foot. That's pretty good. Really good. So let's do a low approach shot and then we'll do a high approach shot. Be a front foot hop. Beautiful, that's it. Let's do a high approach shot. This time outside foot. Wow, good. Let's do it again. This time inside out. Knees stay bent. Beautiful. Good. And now let's do a high approach shot. Beautiful. Wow. Awesome. These are the glamorous shots, but I think the more effective shot for many situations is going to be the slice approach. What we're going to do is we're going to do the same quick feet. We're going to step with our right foot, but this time our action is going to be much more like a volley. So what would be some advantages of going with an underspin instead of going for a big, a big heavy shot? Keep it lower, you make him add pace. But the one other thing to keep in mind is it gives you time, right? Okay. So if I, if I have an opponent off balance and I decide that I'm gonna go for my big transfer step shot, right? It's great, right? Because it's more of a going for a winner or yeah. keeping my opponents off balance. But if my opponent's in decent position, see everything you just said, if I scream the ball, I'm still here when yeah. they make their contact. And now they've got the whole front court to beat me on. Whereas right. if I'm here and I get in behind my slice, look how much time I have to get into good position. And then yeah. you can really take advantage of your height. Same footwork as we did with the transfer step with the dip drive, except this time you're gonna follow it up with a slice. Okay. Here we go. That's it. It's a little less follow through. Keep that slice short. It's like a volley, just like a volley. That's it, perfect. Good. Yeah, another thing I like about the, the slice approach is it really doesn't matter how high the ball is. It's gonna yeah. be the same technique. Nice. All right. You ever done a karaoke step before? Yeah. So this is one situation where you're gonna actually use it on the court. So I'm coming in and I'm gonna slide the back foot behind me as I'm making contact. Not a bad first try. It came in a little bit early, Yeah. but it's pretty good though. Here we go. Take your time with it and just kind of, just feel that foot kind of catching you. All right, really good. Approach, two steps, split, and then finish off with an attacking volley. Coach, front foot hop. One, two, split and attack. Good. Goal is to be above the net when you're making contact. You don't want to just settle for a shot like this, but instead, you're really getting on top of that ball and putting it away. Here we go. Let's try another one. Front foot hop. Good, one, two, split, take it over. Good. Short ball, front foot hop. Good, one, two, split. Good, all right. Not bad, one, two, split. Now I'd like to see a little more kicking off the foot to get your body moving forward a little okay. more. Beautiful, take it over. Oh, One my. more time. Yep. Split. Take it over. Good. All right. Slice forehand approach shot. Slide in behind this ball and take it over. Yeah. Love it. All right. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching. As always, let me know what you think of the teaching in the comments. Appreciate it. Subscribe. Winners only. Peace.